silver platter and everything. All right. So I'll pay the man whatever funds, and on his way up, I'll start catching, casting another ritual spell of alarm on the door, and I will let James so, be the only one that can just, go through without. Just to verify, so, you're going to spend 10 minutes just sitting there casting while your food gets cold? No, while well, I'm eating it, yeah. Just casual bite while I'm <laughs> scanning over my... Yeah, I can do whatever I want. <laughs> just have I don't think the rituals were created that way. You know, like hot dog, no. You know, really? pentagram. Um, just... Oh, I mean, shit, if that's no, the case, I'm I can... I can, say I can, I can Ooh, chicken. I was going to say, all right, if that's the case, I can shovel this down. <laughs> oh, by the way, there was going to be eight silver. Or no, I said that was that was included. That was included. Never mind. That's included. Like, all I'm thinking is like, nom, they just say chicken. Om, om. Om, nom, nom, and they want to say, om, nom. <laughs> okay, so, okay, so your alarm spell uh, works correctly. Alarm spell, it's going to be uh, audible. Everyone can hear it, same for the window. But on the door one, I will give James permission to go through without triggering it. Because he's the only one I really trust in this group. Okay. <laughs> he will Jesus. probably not have ulterior motives. So on the uh, on the ground floor, a uh, an orchestra starts getting on to the uh, small one, but a uh, orchestra starts going on to the uh, stage and starts playing uh, fairly gentle and enjoyable music, focusing mostly on strings. I like it. Mm-hmm. It's a classy joint. And, uh, Dench, you can go ahead and go for a constitution saving throw. Alright, about time. Oh, right, what is the name of this place? So considering it's high class, I'd assume there'd be a, something for that. Good question. 24. And you are having really no trouble with this whatsoever right now. Uh, you know, it's, it's strong. You can definitely taste that. And you've already gotten through about a quarter of the drink. Mm. But uh, not really having too much fo uh, focus on you. I thought this shit was supposed to knock me flat on my ass. And yeah, this is oh. the Victorious Stone that you're in. The Victorious Stone Inn. Oh, uh, just because you brought this upon yourself, Nye. Uh, the only limitations for ritual casting is that you maintain concentration if we want to get down to the mechanics of it. Uh, if it has a verbal and somatic component, you're going to have a hard time doing the verbal and somatic while your hands are full of food and your mouth yeah. is too. Uh, it doesn't say anything about any of that stuff. It has both verbal and verbal somatic and components. Somatic. Oh, no, no, I'm not saying that. I'm saying to maintain concentration on anything specific. Oh, no, I'm talking, I'm talking to cast it in the first place. Yeah. Uh, all right, that's, that's your ruling. I guess I won't I, I, I have no problem with you now. doing it, just, you know... <laughs> Like, are you really, are you really gonna not eat your, eat your food and just let it get a, let it get cold? You ever written a term paper wall? Well especially since you can eat the food first and then set the alarm. set the yeah. alarm. Which I already said I would, but still. The only limitation on the concentration, you're able to take actions and movement and attacking all that bonus actions, all that nonsense. That's not here nor there, apparently. That's where you guys are. Oh, also, nothing's been... <laughs> I don't know if you've had any new images or anything, but I've got a, a still image of the uh, the outdoor map for the past 20-ish minutes. That's fine. Yeah, I, I, I know how tall a highball is. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> no, we're talking about the map. I'm talking about my map. Yeah, I'm saying if you've been changing the pictures yeah, no. at all. Yeah, I don't it, know. It's, I, this is theater of the mind, dude. Yeah, this is there to the okay. end. I, I've done. I've, I've put two marks on the map recently. One is the name of the place you're in, and one is the X where the where the alleyway was. Oh no, I, I don't have any of that. I think I hit delete key or something. Uh, do I even pop up on anything? Um, I mean, I see you. I'll force you to re I'll force you to reconnect. But yeah, um, Victoria Stone. Yep, the Victoria Stone Inn. Um, we get the chance. We'll need to actually talk about a name for uh, the guild that we're part of. Yep, we'll get there. All right. I mean, you didn't recognize this one, so I mean, I don't yeah. think it's um. I don't. I don't recognize it. I don't think I actually know it. So, yep. with that in mind, seems a little gonna... above our 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 station, there, boss. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're your don't you're notice. Talk to him. Yeah. 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 Uh, okay. Well. This was morally disappointing. 
I finish the rest of my drink. And I uh, go and no, retire for the evening. No, constitution check. Okay. <laughs> like, let's uh let's talk about that whole finishing it. You got through a third or a quarter of it and you got the first constitution check. Oh, well then, do I need need to make three or Oh, uh, well I'll I'll let you take an entire one at disadvantage if you want to go for the entire thing. Do it. Do All it. Right. Do it. Constitution save here we Whoop, clicked off my sheet. <laughs> Constitution save. That's a, that's a one. <laughs> <laughs> so, that is a uh, one. Oh, boy. So you are doing fairly well, it has to be said, for a fairly decent amount of time. Um, the problem is, a fairly decent amount of time is not quite long enough. And as you uh, finish your drink, uh, you look around with a kind of like a dopey smile on your face. And uh, a few <laughs> moments <laughs> afterwards, you face plant on the bar. See, I knew this would happen. This is why I watched him. Hey, I got my wish. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you got, you got <laughs> very, very drunk. You got what you paid I, for. I apologize to the bartender, and I'm gonna fucking. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. Room. Can I drag him? <laughs> He's gonna be. <laughs> I mean, what, I... why do you dent all the bars we go to? <laughs> Jesus, man. That's what I'm gonna ask. Is there a dent in the bar right now? <laughs> right uh, next to me. I need a right. strength check from Sa uh, or from Psycho, and uh, Saf just roll one twenty. One twenty. This is gonna be good. I got a minus one for strength. <laughs> so Saf, you the one. Saf, you uh, did not, uh, you did not leave a dent. Psycho, you uh, you tried to do the reasonable thing for your friend to lift him and bring him upstairs, but uh, it's been a very long day. You reach out, you wrap your arms around him, you try to lift, and you feel the strength leaving your limbs, and you just kind of collapse against him as well. <laughs> Everybody well, I'm that. gonna ask the bartender, like, do, do you think someone can come help me get this guy back into the room? So this comes out as a, a little bit of a slur, because you really are that tired. Uh, the bartender seems to understand. He really expected it out of Dench. Uh, on the other hand, you haven't had a drink yet, so he's a little bit of con he's a little bit confused about that. But he does nod and snaps his fingers. And two very large gentlemen come out, uh, bodily lift both you and Dench, um, and start bringing to your room. Oh, nice. You get carried up like a little baby. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what race this is that? a four-star joint, I tell you. <laughs> it, is, it is absolutely a four-star joint. Nine? Yeah, what was up? Uh, what race are they? Uh, probably half-orcs if I had to make a guess. I could be related. Oh, but I'm, too bad I'm knocked out to talk about it. <laughs> it, it, it. It's absolutely possible. For yeah, that's absolutely possible. Uh, let's see backstory stuff. Have... It's fun. I mean, we could. I could tell you this. The problem is you can't search through this nonsense. Really, there's nothing just easy. No, I don't need any of that. No, I don't need any of that. Oh, we don't need that. Okay, so while they're being carried up to their room and I'm trying to find you a decent tavern music, um, what are the rest of you guys working on? I know that oh, uh, wow. we, we got James who's who's soaking. Well, I'm sure at this point I've, um, I've gotten nice and clean and probably worked out for them to have laundered my uh, clothes. I mean, it's definitely possible. I mean, that's definitely what's going to happen. They are going to launder. They're going to look kind of weirdly at uh, what you wear, though. <laughs> hey, Fair you enough. know, I'm an ex I'm eccentric, but rich. There. I don't know if that's playing or not, but... Mm, you check my yes, it is. Yeah, it is. 
It's not exactly what I was going for. I was trying to go for like a ragtime jazz theme for the bar, but. Well, just go and look up like some Kelly Bebop shit. That probably has it. The, well, the problem is you can't, you can't search that up. That's the yeah, problem. You can. It's the fourth one. You just start searching up uh, stuff you don't recognize, and it will probably find it. Well, no, this is just I have a list that I can just go and scroll through. Yes, yeah, so you have four tabs though. Right, but there's no search bar. I just have to actually just look. Number four, the fourth tab, you can search in it. Oh. Neat. Yep. It's main reason what I was talking about. Uh, how about this? Yes? These are real. This is really weird music. Okay, so, anyways. This is really weird music. <laughs> Glad to know. Can't hear it, but. Here, we'll do that. Because reasons. That's what you get. No, stop bullying us. <laughs> I'm not bullying you. I don't you. think it's bullying. I'm not bullying you. I'm just... Why is it not playing? It should be playing. No, it's playing. Okay, you guys can hear it. I can't. There we go. Now I can hear it. Okay, so... As that's doing its thing... Anybody else doing anything for the night? Uh, getting weirded out by the music, but okay. <laughs> yeah. Blue's bar was about the best I could find. Oh. And I'm not willing to look any longer. So... Fair <laughs> So, what's the plan? Two, well, two people are basically right passed back. out. Yep. yep. And James and uh, Geth are... I'm good. I'm up in my room. Um, relaxing, clean, you know. Okay. And Geth, are you still doing stuff? Or are you kind of bedded down for the night? Oh, I also requested that they bring oh, he, uh, the room he, service uh, for food. Oh, he's out. Damn. Uh, we'll give him a second, because he actually is completely out of the room. Um, okay, so they definitely bring food for you. As I said, it's included in the room, so you had an entire uh, uh, menu to choose from. So you're able to order kind of what you want. They've got a pretty wide variety. Nice sampler's plate, yeah. Yep, so you guys have plenty of food. And kind of as we wait for Geth, are you guys, uh, are you going to bed? Or are you guys going to stay up for a bit? What's the, uh, what would you like to do? I I have no choice in the matter. I'm fucking out. That is true. You are, you, we can consider you exempt from those sorts of questions. Yeah, I have more characters you feel like very weak in this world there. <laughs> okay. And James, are you, uh, after you eat, are you going to pass out? Or what would you like to do? Yeah, I'll, I won't necessarily just pass out, but retire, uh, snuggle up to bed. Hang on, we have, we, have, we have food? Yeah, it included in the rooms. Yep, included food, in the rooms. Room but I'm not going to get any of it unless you decide to start stuff on my face. Well, you can eat in the morning. Yes, yes. Yeah, we can eat breakfast. Fuck it. Just yeah, as it. I said, food is included. These, these rooms are more expensive than usual, but the food's included. Okay. Well... Okay, so the, the, you know, really good news here is that uh, this is, once again, a very high-class establishment. Um, so, you know, you guys are protected. The night passes. Yep. And uh, eight to ten hours later, depending on what you guys are, uh, how well, how much you guys need to sleep, uh, you get full long rest, and uh, you wake up. <laughs> how bad is the hangover? God, it's a safe <laughs> throw. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, didn't, didn't get a one. Didn't get a one. <laughs> I kind of hope he does, but... <laughs> That's a one! <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so... Hey, uh, uh, Psycho, you want to not say a single thing next time? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, roll a 1d6 for me. Alright, 1d6. I'm going to end up getting levels of exhaustion just dying. <laughs> No. That's a one. Okay, so you wake up. Uh, the hangover is pretty bad, but you've had worse. You know, you're the owner of a bar. Um, yeah. You do have to go over to the bathroom, and, uh, you know, you, you do have a fair amount of vomiting that you do, uh, really? but you kind of get over it. So you're going to start the day with one less HP than you normally would have. Okay. Is that, like, max HP or just lesser than HP? Uh, one, like, like one, your, your max is, like, take one damage, is what I'm saying. Just take one damage? Okay. Yeah. 
this is, it's a really bad morning. But you've had worse. I was really expecting to like not get rest and get exhaustion. Thank you. <laughs> I, I was thinking about it, but people who are that drunk tend to sleep pretty well. So, yeah. by the way, do I remember anything from yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, you don't remember anything after you started drinking, but uh, yeah, okay. you know your memory is not affected from the day itself. I'm a little sad. Okay. Well, remember you're you're a pretty uh. Yeah, you're you're a pretty reliable dude who has done a lot of drinking in your past. Yeah, I know. So I, I really would not expect you to be affected that terribly by a strong drink, but you did drink a lot. Okay. So yep, it is morning. Actually, it is morning. For exhaustion I'm a little right s annoyed by the hangover no. really no, can't stand the color of the room right now some, some breakfast because uh, my character is supposed to be hungry after that rest quite likely uh you're probably gonna have to go downstairs for this one because there doesn't seem to be any room service yeah. going right now all right Ugh. all right i wake up i look like a hot mess i'm going downstairs and i go to the bar if it's still if it's open and i'm immediately ordering whiskey sour so to be clear you're waking up from a hangover you're going down and drinking uh whiskey sour that's supposed to be good for hangovers mm. okay i know just in real life don't ever believe that the best thing for whiskey yep. uh for a hangover is pedialyte and water well pedialyte especially but no pedialyte well, but here's you the thing. make your own pedialyte to spend six six dollars a, a pint for it. Yeah, but my character doesn't have access to Pedialyte, so he goes with the with Trident with uh, what he understands, which would be just whiskey sour. Okay, he's not smart. So you go get out and you drink. Uh, yep. Are you going to have any food with that drink? Yes. Okay. So you order your food. It's delivered fairly quickly. Uh, pretty basic fare. Uh, you know, good fry up. Uh, Psycho, your plans are to go down and get something to eat as well? Yeah, just breakfast. Okay, so breakfast is on the way. Uh, James still in your room, or...? Oh, I'll go down for breakfast, for sure. Okay, so you guys go down. Uh, you know, it's still a bar. There's still lots of seats. It's a fairly... It, it's not crowded, but it is fairly populated. You know, this is a pretty popular place. Um, you guys do stand out a little bit in, uh, in kind of your armor and uh, your adventuring garb. Uh, most of the folks around you look more business oriented, so you get a couple of strange looks. But uh, mo people seem to be ignoring you, and the food is quite good. At least there's that. Hmm. Wonder where Adric went. I don't know. I'm the connection. He just kind of vanished on us. Okay. Like he's still connected. Been down or something. Well, he's still connected to the uh, game, so. Yeah, yep. to the to the roll twenty. Yeah, he hasn't responded to me. Uh, questioning him though. Mm. Suddenly, Edge disappears. <laughs> he's never heard from again. Well, he's still in his room. And you guys are, you know, you guys haven't seen uh seen your cleric friend, so they vanished too. Okay, so the morning. Passes away, you guys while some time away at the bar. The food's good, so you spend a good amount of time, you know, refilling your bellies, uh, kind of working away the aches of the previous day. So it gets to about yeah. 10 a.m. or so, maybe 11 a.m. Um, you know, enjoyable morning. Yep. And what would you guys like to do? Uh, it's about time we continued on our way back home. Yeah, no, then, well, we should gather up all our companions. And we can leave them. Okay, so do we want to win? What? That what? awkward <laughs> silence was about <laughs> as fantastic as it should have been. What? Uh, you missed it. I said we can leave him while we were talking about making our way. It's like, so, 
Man, I can't remember calling yeah, it. This is the awkward silence. <laughs> <laughs> that was five seconds. Do we, uh, do we actually want to wait for Adric? Um, Adric's typing. Oh, Adric's typing. Okay. Yep. And there he is. Okay, he just popped back into Discord. Oh, that's good. We'll give him a moment. I still... I still can't believe you rolled a zero. <laughs> oh, shush! I have minus <laughs> strength! That's so amazing. Even I haven't rolled a zero. I have minus one! I've rolled a zero. I know, but I'm the one that rolls really badly, and I haven't rolled a zero. It's not a competition, though. But it is. It is a competition. You rolled a zero. <laughs> so believe me. <laughs> not bullying. It's you, you, you believe me that I got okay, a zero. Okay, Gath, you back? Yeah, and you deserve to be bullied for rolling a goddamn zero. Psycho. See? See? <laughs> okay, so, Gath, to catch you up, everybody had a wonderful night. That's uh, good to hear. Saf passed out. Good. Uh, Psycho yeah, tried yeah. to pick him up, failed to do so, passed out. Uh, <laughs> James enjoyed the rubber ducky, had a wonderful meal, probably had a scotch, and then rested the night away. And uh, we have to assume you slept. Of course. So it's the morning. Uh, you've been uh, the, the three of them went down to the bar earlier, got some food. Uh, you've been sleeping the morning away. It's about eleven a.m. Huh. So w w what are you doing while they're eating? Um. Well, first of all, I'm glad to get my spell slots back. Yep. But I'm probably just gonna go downstairs and see if I can catch up with my group, and if they're eating, maybe grab a bowl of something. Okay, it's not too hard. Um, they're mostly, you know, getting breakfast uh, fare. Uh, but you can definitely get yourself a bowl of something. You get a very strange look from the crowd, though. Uh, I'm used to it. I've imagined. I mean, you're a half orc wearing a magical hat. It's interesting. Yep. Yeah, which is why I'm not responding. They're they're not no malicious intent. Curiosity more than anything else. Mm-hmm. So time slowly passes, getting to about 11.30, getting to about noon. You all have had a chance to eat, to rest, yeah. stretch weary limbs. So Let us make go. Let us make go. Like Let us make go. That is, that is the extent I of my that. English today. I was going to say, you're probably still trying to you know, shake off last night. It's that mad thunder, man. I didn't know what the hell was in that drink. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, look at me. I own a bar. I can drink whatever I want. No consequences. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like he was Run. describing Run. it was a mix of Mad Dog 2020 and Thunderbird Lightning. <laughs> Quite possibly. <sighs> Geth, you shut your face. <laughs> I'm not having lit from you after you left us to fucking die. There are kind of looks from the bar around you. <laughs> I expect so. Discord. Oh, never mind, we're good. Well, boss, should we get on the road? Yes. Okay, so you guys have lost a little bit of time thanks to the fights and needing to rest a little bit earlier than expected. You're still about two and a half days away from the bar by your best uh, best reckoning. Do we want to break off here for... Well, I'm not sure what... Is it almost four? I mean, it's, it's, getting about oh, three, it's getting back to the normal time. We still have about half an hour before we normally break. It's up to you guys. No, I was just wondering. I thought it was close. I'm not, like, that tired yet. I, mean, I'm not at the point I have like, time, so I can keep going if you guys want to. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. So you guys gonna cool. head out? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So as you head out, you guys turn in your leather coat checks and receive your weaponry. All right. As you exit the uh, as you exit the building, um, let me get an insight or perception check. Your choices. All right. Oh, okay. 
Let's do this. Insight. That's an eight. I'm gonna do one roll today. Side and do this. My rolls are just not doing good. Okay. So, uh, Dench and Gath, as you guys leave and start strapping your weapons wherever you'd like them to be, uh, you kind of get ready to mingle with the cloud and go right outside the door. Uh, Sylv and James, on the other hand, as you guys go out, you notice that things are, uh, a little bit worse outside. So you guys had noticed the previous day that people had, were keeping their heads down. Uh, it seems to be more of a thing. You're seeing a lot of shifty eyes. People are kind of looking at you directly a lot more, a lot, cl uh, more closely, um, than you guys were kind of used to for the past day. And, uh, you know... There seems to be a small underlying panic that you guys can kind of sense as you watch the milling of people outside the door. Well, let's uh, get some distance between us and this area. What do you guys say? Aye. I have no qualms in getting away from a problem. Hmm. Okay. Yep. Yep. Considering last time, God, this close one. Loud. I speaking of last time, you folks do realize we're never going to make it if we fight everyone coming after us, right? Yeah. Yeah, and you realize yeah. that sometimes you have to sit and fight and not run away. How'd that work for you? Well, stick with the group, my dude. <sighs> it, worked, it worked fine until you decided to... Gonna be the death of me. I'm just going to break off from that conversation. <laughs> okay. That's a smart choice. So you break off from that conversation, and um, so you guys are about where the uh, token is on the map right now. So you got a, you know, you got a decent yeah, ways. We're ways. at the bar scene. Uh, oh, it's sorry. just such you a good guys, bar. You guys are at the bar scene, right? Yeah. Boink. Boink. What? Okay, so Boink. where'd you plop this down? So right about where the token for James is. Can you guys see that? All right. Yeah. Okay, so you're right about there. Uh, what's your plan? I can't see anything. I'm gonna re I should probably restart that. Yeah, I just see blank. I just see blank. Hmm. Well, I feel special. I, I can see that stuff you wanted me to see. Oh, what a man. Probably to make up for my laptop dying on me in the middle of something. Okay, we'll give them a second to reload. Hmm. Refresh button is your friend. Oh, there we go. Uh, I can see, I can see um, James' character. That's about right about where you guys are. There we go. So we need to continue heading towards the bar. Okay, so you Which guys are going to head in that northwest, northwest, northwest direction? Te yeah, for us it looks northeast, but still same picture. Let's go. Okay, as you guys gradually start walking in that direction, um, that sense of unease that you were seeing around the people around you is starting to get greater. It's not the same feeling you guys had near the canal, but there's definitely a kind of um, anticipation in the air. Uh, people expecting something, uh, you know, the, uh, it's, the, it's the kind of the feeling when you hear the air raid sirens go off, but you mm. don't yet see the planes. Yeah. Uh. That's a good way to describe it, actually. There's air raid sirens in this place? God damn. You better hope there aren't. <laughs> that's that's just going to be a bad raids. day. No, this <laughs> is god raid sirens. Okay, you guys just going to keep on walking? Of course. Yeah. Uh, let's be on the lookout, because these guys seem really uneasy. I mean, people are pretty uneasy right now. It, it definitely has that look to it. Okay. As you guys kind of continue working your way, uh, 
you know, northwest, moving in the direction that uh, that James had indicated. Uh, there is a, a a sudden loud thud from behind you. I didn't fall over, did I? You did not fall over. No, okay. that was last night. Yeah. We need to check your temporal gland to make sure that you're actually remembering to follow along. <laughs> Okay, so you guys have made it okay. to about here. What was that thud as I turn around to look? Uh, behind you, you don't see anything directly down the alley, though you do notice a sudden large, or not alley, but the, down the street, uh, until you notice a sudden large influx of people coming from the um, uh, direction that you had just come from, uh, from a little bit past the inn you had left. I'd say let's keep moving forward before we get trampled. Mm hmm Yes, let's... You guys are actually going to run away from the problem this time? I'm going to murder you in your sleep. <laughs> I wish you luck. <laughs> <laughs> and just... A selection from it in the papers. <laughs> Dying Phoenix will not hear of your death. It will be sad and cold. Hmm. That's rather forbearing for somebody that promised me room and board at their, at their bar. I, I promised no such thing. I said you could. You I most certainly did. All right. I see what kind of man you are, and I'm a break off from that conversation. <laughs> I'm noticing a pattern here. <laughs> what? That my hate is getting more and more for your kind. Oh, so it's a race thing now. All I'm right. Same fucking race, asshole. We're gonna. You're kind. We're talking about this later. So are are you guys walking? But as aren't you say both this, orcs? Or... Yes, we're both orcs. Yeah, we're both walking when we're doing this. <laughs> okay, so as you're walking, uh, you start to hear uh, screams from behind you. See, look at your ugly oh, mug. And they... I'm going to be looking back behind me. To yeah, see no, I, I, I hear the scream and I look behind me. I'm going to turn around as well. Fucking... <laughs> so what you guys are seeing is behind you about two blocks away, there is a sudden influx of people. Just a crush of people rushing out of uh, about this side alleyway right here. Very kind of unpleasant group, pe like, group of people. They're, they're rushing as fast as they can. Uh, fleeing? Together. or, or absolutely, absolutely fleeing. Like people looking over their shoulder and they're running. There are people getting trampled. Uh, you know, these are people scared for their lives and running away as fast as they possibly can in any direction they can. Uh, you know, indiscriminately groups are running left and right, some coming towards you guys, some coming away. Uh, you uh, kind of hear that thud again, and you see a puff of smoke coming from the direction of the inn you just left. Hmm. Well, How someone just blew up the inn? How big that we were a, in? How how big of a crowd was uh, kind of swarming our way? I mean, that's well, swarming your way. It's individuals who are rushing, and the panic is slowly spreading. Uh, there are okay, probably so a it, good it's... eighty people that were kind of leaving that uh, like street and dispersing. Okay, so it's not like a wall of people coming towards us. No. All right. Uh, puff of smoke coming from the end. There was. Uh, hmm. Glad that wasn't us. <laughs> Keep moving. Mm -mm. Aye. Okay, so you guys, are you guys just going to kind of leave that? Are you going to run away from that? Yeah. What are you guys going to do? We're ignoring that. Yep. Yeah, we're yeah. going to continue on our jolly way. Yeah. Don't you know? You don't talk about things that happen here. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you guys, uh, you guys get on the move. Uh, you are kind of leaving that, and uh, you know these people who, um, uh, these people who are running past you. There's a level of panic that you guys are completely unfamiliar with. Uh, this is this is a, you know, kind of a feeling of panic that is completely different than you've seen before, and uh, as they pass you. Uh, you can kind of feel the panic radiating off of them. And uh, let me get um, a wisdom sh uh, saving throw from each of you, please. 
Wisdom. 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 Jeez, that's with a plus three too. Wow. Good stuff. Yeah, you're just you're just not a uh, not a particularly lucky person, I guess. Not exactly wise. Oh my god! Every time we're doing saves. <laughs> Let's see, guys. Oh, I can't wait to see this. And wisdom. Thank. You. <laughs> yep, that seems about right. Uh, so as these people pass, as more and more of them uh, rush past you, uh, the three of you, Geth, Psycho, and uh, and Saf, the three of you get kind of feel your heart starting to pound. You kind of feel more and more frightened as you kind of realize that uh, you know the people behind you are running from something that must be terrifying. Because if it wasn't terrifying, they wouldn't be running away. Uh, and so you guys begin to panic as well. Uh, starting to move faster and faster in less controlled steps away from that direction. Uh, James, you notice your allies acting like this, and uh, it kind of confuses you a little bit uh, as to... Uh, why I they stay to with them. Okay. So you guys start rushing. You're rushing away in from the In fact, I'm, I'm even going to go into, like, shepherd mode, and I'll use my my um, my staff to kind of, like, kind of try and herd him in the right direction. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me get a... Uh... Oh no! You, so, so you just you, you keep on hurting them away, and uh, you guys are able to put yeah, on a uh, decent turn of speed as you rush. Um, uh, but James, you start noticing that your uh, your allies do not seem to be stopping this uh, frantic escape, and uh, it's you know they're putting a lot of energy into running away. This might not be the healthiest thing to uh, to encourage. Uh, can I get each of you uh, each of the panicked ones to wisdom again? Oh, boy. Better. Not better. Much better. Let's. <laughs> uh, Psycho, it takes a go. few moments, but uh, Sylv is able to drag himself out of the terror, uh, kind of tamping it down. You can still feel it welling within you, making your heart flutter uncomfortably. Uh, but you're able to control yourself. You're able to get back under control. Uh, Geth and, uh, and uh, Denge are still rushing away. And uh, they are uh, they're, they're star they're starting to get away from you guys. They're like really putting their all into it. No, no, I'm, I'm putting my, my hand on Denge's uh, collar and restraining him from being able to pull away. Okay, uh, athletics please. And uh, Denge, athletics. Yep, because I cannot stop this. That's a plus six, by the way. <laughs> uh, so you try to reach out for Dench to grab onto him, and your hand does solve the close, but he wrenches away from you and continues pushing on as fast as he can. Why is it I only real good when things are bad happening to me? <laughs> <laughs> now you know how I feel. I'm going to stay with him, and I'm going to tell the rest of the party uh, you know, that something's wrong. I'm going to look at Psycho. It looks like he's coming out of it. Um, yep. Ask him to try and help me uh, slow these guys down. Okay. Uh, James, insight, please. And uh, Geth, Saf, once again, wisdom. All right. Man, I just do not want to chill out. It would be a nice little thing to do, but I'm sorry. That's not going to happen. Okay. Mm, it's 19. <laughs> So uh, it, it, it takes some effort. Uh, Dench, you're able to get control of yourself. Uh, Geth is still kind of sprinting. Uh, Geth, you're under uh, level one exhaustion uh, oh, at the moment. all right. Because you, you guys are putting it your all. Like, you are yeah. almost off the map at this yeah. point. Um, Put it on the burners. So, uh, James, you come to the realization that there must be something causing this widespread panic, this infectious panic that uh, luckily you yourself did not succumb to. Uh, it feels, uh, from what you can tell, kind of thinking about it, it feels a lot like the same feeling you felt when you went down that particular alley. The same one that you weren't affected by, but your allies were. Yeah, we gotta get out of this town, guys. <laughs> I'd love to, but I heard it belongs with, my, with the 7th Buffalo. Exactly. I'm gonna the bar, assist. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna assist. If James try to pull Dench again, I'm gonna. Assist I'm him. fine. Yeah, Dench just pulled oh, himself out of it. It's uh, it's Geth who is still 
uh, freaking uh, oh, out. Oh, yeah, Gith. I'm tackling him. Gith, Dench. Fucking... Okay. Um, yeah, well, going... yeah, I was going to say, you snapped out and slowed down. Are you Are you anywhere near me right now? Yeah, did you did you keep all? running when you snapped out of it, or did you would you have slowed down? Uh, I sna- all right, so snap out of it. Would I realize what's going on to me and what's happening to him within like two seconds? Yeah, uh, you and you and Psycho, because you guys actually lived through it. Uh, you would yes, you would understand. Uh, you would all make right. the connection between this feeling and the feeling you guys had in the alleyway back there. All right, fair enough. With that in mind, I'm gonna run over and. I would be still keeping up with uh, Geth then, and I would take the time to tackle him to the ground. Okay. So okay. Uh, finally, finally get me to stop. Okay, athletics check from both of you. Minus one, you got this. You're going to crit. Nah. <laughs> okay, so uh, you are able to uh, dive and tackle him to the ground. Uh, Geth 1d6, please. Oh, oh boy. Excuse you, oh. 1d8. Wait, from what? You. Uh, the 1d8, where does that come from? That comes from me really putting my heart into it. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm really putting my heart into it. Uh, that's fantastic. Okay, so uh, as you impact, uh, you feel the breath blown out of you. Uh, you take four damage. <laughs> Am I still freaking out? No, because uh, you stopped me. But... No, you are you are still freaking out, especially because you have a very large orc that just tackled you to the ground is now with uh, restraining you from running away. No, are you Calm are the still hell down. the fuck out. Yeah, see, I know how Geth would react to being tackled to the ground, but I don't want to do that. <laughs> I really don't. Why is that? You might get hurt. Oh, oh, that's cute. I kind of want to do it now. <laughs> <laughs> oh god here we go uh but you, you screamed uh you know snap out of it was is that maybe persuasive you know there's a chance of him snapping me out of it uh he can go for his persuasion versus your wisdom all right that's been working terrible for me so fingers crossed <laughs> okay persuasion this should be good actually it is uh 17 okay and you said that was um wisdom on my part yep versus your wisdom Cool. Oh, well, that's a throw, but it was very safe. It's the exact not. same roll you just did. That is, yeah, that is actually the exact same roll. That's a plus three too. Uh, so yeah. yes, he uh, he shouts at you, and uh, you uh, you know kind of release a, cr- a release a cry of relief, and uh, your wits return that you are still going to be at level one exhaustion. Okay, that's good to know. Everyone lives happily ever after, the, not on fire or with a I hole through their use? head. Trying to, trying to give you guys a, a map to transition to. Yes, we're still going to other cities. Don't you mean other parts of the city? That too. Okay, so uh, y'all finally have your wits about you again. James never lost them, but um, <laughs> let's face it, he never had them in the first place to lose them. So uh, you yes, guys sure. are kind of able to kind of you know think on this. Uh, and put the pieces together, realizing this is very similar to the uh, yeah. uh, fear that you felt along the river back there. Apparently the Sistine Chapel is very scary. Oh, it is absolutely terrifying. Though I'm <laughs> reasonably certain the Sistine Chapel isn't <laughs> isn't right there. It, it's not, but it's on the map, so. In fact, I think that actually says what that is. Though I can't really read it. Yeah, you can't exactly read I the pictures. I swear to God that says Notre Dame. Or Notre Dame. I'm pretty sure that's what that's supposed to be. It probably is. Just, lo- just looking guess. at the silhouette from the front, I'm pretty sure that's what it's supposed to be. Let's see, I'm going to have to actually go look this up now. Okay, so you guys have... Uh, Yeah, that's what that's supposed to be. It is? Okay. Yep. I mean, I've played enough freaking Civilization. I should know what the Sistine Chapel and Notre Dame look like. Uh, kind of. So to give you, this is to give you a comparison view. Yeah. Yeah, that looks a lot closer. Yep. That also looks like it was rendered in a video game. It is. It is. Yep, that's Assassin's Creed. I, I was gonna guess that. Okay, so. 
You guys have your wits about you. You're not going nuts, at least at the moment. Cool. So what's the plan? What would you guys like to do? I'm going to look to Dench for... Uh... Stop doing that! <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at me anymore! This is not helpful! Well, you're the boss. You're supposed to be the leader. I know I'm the boss. I don't like being the boss. You picked the pussy cat? Yeah, you you're pretty bossy. You the bar. That's you're what I pretty Yeah, you're pretty bossy. Uh, I'm going to guess I have like the highest uh, charisma in the group, too. Uh, it's, it's not unlikely. Likely. I mean, are you guys yeah, going yeah. to be, uh, are you going to be sitting there? Or are you guys going to start moving? Well, we need to continue on our way, but going that way was getting us freaked the heck out. So, uh, insight check. Insight. Yeah, for you specifically. Look okay. it. Did it? I clicked it. And go. Try it again. Uh, you realize that it has nothing to do with the direction that you're going. It's more the crowd coming with you. This seems to be some sort of infectious, like, fear that, uh, because they're running away from behind you, probably oh. comes from behind you. Oh, gosh. Pack mob style. <laughs> well, shit. Waka, 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 waka. <laughs> you okay over there? No, no, pac -Man. Oh. I don't get that, but okay. He said Pac Mob, not Pac Man. Yeah, not Pac Man, Pac Mob. Like, it's the. <laughs> uh, people will react almost the exact same way as others when they're in a group. And it's because of that, everybody's running away, so, so therefore, everybody's going to say running away. Yep. Yeah, sprinkle in a hint of magic. Yeah. Sprinkle in mm -hmm. a hint of magic, and it probably goes south pretty quick. Yep. So, with that in mind. We probably need to continue the way we're going. Just try and keep our wits about us. Okay. So you're just going to kind of continue in that same direction? Yep. Darn it. You know, bad idea all around. Yeah, it's not, it's not a terrible idea. It's not a terrible, but it's bad. I mean, the worst idea would be, you know, stay behind and fight the crowd coming towards you guys. Just start cutting them down. Yeah, I mean, you could absolutely, if you just start painting the town red with the blood of innocence, that's a bad choice. What you just suggested sounds pretty rational compared to it. And the problem is he has a point. <laughs> yeah. It is. Just. Well, let's continue then. He, he actually has a decent point in the matter there. Still, let's keep moving forward. Okay. Hi. I'd agree to that. So, uh, we're going to kind of ignore the fact that this map has absolutely nothing to do with the last one. All right. Easy. <laughs> because I'm sure you could. I am a, I'm a very that. lazy oh, person. God. And oh uh, gosh, I can see the individual pixels. No, see what you do is I'm, you take I'm it, fix that turn it ninety once degrees. You guys are off this. Uh, off this you map. turn ninety degrees. Clock counterclockwise, and then yeah, that, that's the river we were on. There's the bridge. Uh, uh we're assuming yeah. that the river kind of curves around yeah. to meet the right hand side. We started there, we went across the bridge, and ignore the rest of this. That's that's <laughs> nonsense that doesn't fit the narrative, but it was good in the beginning. <laughs> we'll ignore the fact that it says London Town and all that good stuff, anyways. Yeah, okay, so you guys are you're absolutely making progress. And uh, you can still hear the thumps behind you. Ugh. Let's speed it up. Please, fuckers. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure if, if you can speed up faster than your maximum speed. Probably not, actually. Not that I'm aware of. I mean, you, uh, you could try like to a... sprint nonstop, but you're going to be if... becoming about as, uh, you're gonna be becoming about as exhausted as he is. Yeah, yeah, thanks. If we're talking um, like actual in combat style, then no. But outside of that, we can actually change our pace. Like between slow, normal, and fast. And I was talking like going the fastest and just 
I was going to say, I'm pretty sure fast would be the equivalent of uh, taking a dash action in combat, which, I, I don't know, maybe someone can correct me. It basically is. You're taking, you're moving as fast as you can and not checking for anything. But just, right, I thought that's, so thought that's what we were worth You were asking though, to go faster than that. Yeah, worth remembering, though, about that is that in combat, we're talking about for six seconds at a time. Out of combat, you're talking about consistently. So if you're trying to consistently move at double your uh, movement speed, you're going to get exhausted. So how fast do you want to move? Fast enough. Fast enough, yeah. Just fast enough. You got to give him something, Seth. <laughs> well, fast, well, I mean, fast do enough we have, to do, we have do any what? To not get crushed by the crowd. Okay. Um, I mean, the crowd is moving at around the same page you are. All right, well, I guess we're not changing that. Okay, so you're just going to kind of move with the crowd the entire time? Geth is going to pick up his pace a bit. He's going to go at a, a jaunt. Oh, of course. A, swank, a swanky jaunt. <laughs> of course you're going to go ahead. You're going to start running at me as you get the chance. Hey, who didn't get the shit beat out of them last time? This guy. Uh, the uh, thumping is getting louder. Okay. I'm going to turn around and look and see if I can see what the hell is making that noise. One second. Do we have any visual on what's changed, like thumping around? Um, I checking. actually don't think you have had a visual yet. Uh, if you'd like to try to get one, you can perception check. That's what I'm doing. And as you do this, are you stopping or are you uh, still running as you look over your shoulder? Oh, I'm, I'm running. I'm willing to make that check. Okay. Um, you're going to be taking a disadvantage if you're running while you're doing this. Okay, so that's a seven. Okay, uh, you're not able to see over the crowd. Figures. You are definitely able to feel that thumping, though. I can feel it? Is it like hitting? Yes, you can force? feel this thumping at this point. Okay, let's Lucky. start pushing ourselves to the side of the of this place. Yeah. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna stop rushing headlong, and you're gonna move to the side. Yeah, I'm gonna take the time to push my way through the crowd to the side of the uh, the side of the road. Okay, uh, where you? Uh, I back him up. So where yeah, you are, uh, the only really good place to do that is gonna be that alley to your left, uh, right around here. Um, why is it not allowing me to ping? There we go. Uh, check your tool. So there's that alley right there that you guys could be uh, ducking into. Um, yeah, it is going slightly in the wrong direction, though. But the crowd we doesn't seem to be going there. A bit. All right. Okay. We'll duck in there, and we're going to sit for a bit until this thumping passes. Sounds like a good plan. Okay. Um, stealth checks. Ooh. That means something's chasing us. I mean, I didn't say that, but if you'd like to go with that. Yeah, yeah you don't know that. Yeah, no, from a from a me perspective. Ooh, that could be fun. That's a 12. I am not stealthy. Apparently, I'm kind of stealthy. All right. Let's see. Rogue stealth? Hello? <laughs> yeah, we didn't say anything. <laughs> rogue, uh, James You're expected to be stealthy. <laughs> you, you want a cookie for doing your job? Hmm? I sort of do. I mean, cookies. Let's see. <laughs> well, so do I. And uh, perception <laughs> no, I... is wisdom, I believe. Yep. I believe. That's... Yep. Wow. Wow. <laughs> hey, Finally, that. I you rolled zero. Good. Okay. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm not quite done yet. It ends up dropping a magical staff as it plows its way past us. Mm. Yay! It actually stops and asks thing. It, it's, it stops, holds up the poster and says, Hey, have you folks seen these people? And it sketches of us. No? No? It's so, sketches of us. As you guys are... duck into that side alley. You're gonna make me oh. sketch this damn thing again. Yeah. 
So as you guys duck into that side alley, you're able to get away from the majority of the crush of people, uh, which is probably a good thing, because as you, um, as you do, uh, you notice the, um, the crunching get heavier, uh, and it feels more like a crunch. You can actually feel this, uh, in your bones, and past you goes a gigantic skeleton of what looks like a very large cow. Ooh. <laughs> Wait, so a it cow. Is a so does, it, does it have horns or it does have horns. No. Okay. <laughs> so hey look, yes, it's your now, mother. Now when I say cow, it is a vertical cow standing on uh, its hind uh, legs carrying a gigantic axe. That's not a oh. cow, that's a minute. Oh, that's oh boy. Oh, Thankfully oh, it no. didn't see you. How about his cute friend? However, a few moments behind it... And while I'm doing this, you can feel free to roll for initiative. This one's very... Okay. Oh, uh, do you want us... You're still drawing it up? Uh, yeah, I actually need to get you on the correct page here. Boink! Yay! You guys can go ahead and pull your tokens onto this. You're a token. Your mom's a token. You're... Are you all right there, Whoa. Psycho? You hanging in okay? Duh. Nah, I'm scared, man. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Duh. But, hey, this is a giant, giant, Duh. giant thing. That's an eight. With a giant axe. I'd rather not get split in half in one slice. Uh, yeah. we're in, I think we're in the alleyway, by the way. Not out in the middle. We're over here. No, this, is the, this is the alley off the side. This is the alley. Yeah, this oh. entire thing is the alley. You guys can decide where you where you started here. Probably here. Uh, I was going like to say big... probably up there because we dipped in from the we left. We dipped in. Or... We don't want to well, be seen. The, the, so the main alley or the main thoroughfare is up off of this side. The alley actually kind of ends right there. Right, so who uh, who rolled the least stealthy? Actually, that would be me. That would be you. Yeah, so you get to be peeking out the side. Yeah, that's like what I was doing. I was looking out, watching as these things go by. So. You see uh, what looks... Cow. Yeah, you see the giant cow. But you also get spotted by something that looks kind of like a feeded corpse. Uh, this thing is kind oh. of walking, not very steadily. Uh, grayish skin, uh, and it appears to be sniffing at the air uh, as, it, uh, as it moves. A what corpse? A feeded, feeded. corpse. You mean or fetid? Fetid. Sure. Okay. Okay, same page. We're good now. Also, oh, never mind. James moved up. I was going to say, he doesn't care. They go right by him. He just looks like a crazy homeless person. Who uh, smells, who I, smells I think this nice? thing would, would enjoy a crazy homeless per person. Because uh, crazy homeless would. persons don't move as much. Mm, yeah, but they also might stab you with an AIDS needle, which is why I always stay away from crazy homeless people. They might stab you with an AIDS needle. You don't know. That's part of the charm and appeal of a crazy homeless person. Th that's not charm or appeal. That's. Are you going to say that to his face while he waves an AIDS needle at you? No, I hope not. I got a gun. I'll be fine. Mm, not me with this gun thing you speak of. <laughs> it's, it's this weird concept. Hang on. You don't, you don't have a weapon, don't you, Dench? What? He should. He should. You should have. You lost hammer. your hammer, didn't you? No. That was, no, that was, he threw his light hammer. No, was small. I threw a light uh, hammer. I still are... got my oh. Psycho, we're missing you. I was gonna say. I was gonna say we lost that. Holy shit. No, he's fine. I wasn't he's tossing still... that. <laughs> yeah, you would trade two d six for one d four. I don't think that's really much of an advantage. Uh, Geth, what is your dexterity? Uh, it is I plus believe... three. He's currently at a 17 right now. Now, what is Geth's your dexterity? dexterity? Yeah. Or what uh, was 12. your dex sorry, dexterity not... modifier? Oh, uh, plus one. Okay. But how the fuck do you have 17 in your dex? So that thing moves faster roll... than you. Wow. I roll very, very high. Okay. I was going to say, wow. <laughs> okay. Dang. You are... uh, so, uh, Psycho, you were uh the first person to uh are your your first turn so you get to go first what would you like to do hey are we planning on engaging them 
Well, you guys oh, did turn down a blind us. alley that happens to be a dead end, so... Oh, so we have to... All right. Or you can we hope it didn't happen. notice you. Can I roll for stealth? Uh, you already did. You are still stealthed. Oh! Oh!